The off season is a really troubling time for many golfers because one, you can't play golf. Two, you're dreaming about golf all day long and you know you can't play golf. And three, you're not sure which golf game is going to show up when you start the next season. Are you going to get the strong finish from last season or are you going to get the I don't even know how to play golf anymore. In fact, I just donated my clubs to the yard, local yard sale and they're selling for 25 cents because I quit. I've teetered on both ends of the spectrum and most of the time in the off season, my game would just plummet downhill. So today I figured I'd give you a really simple drill to prevent your game from doing that off season slump so that you can start next season really strong without having to waste two months of practice to get where you need to be. Now we're looking at one of the most fundamental things you need to do and that is impact creating good impact with the ball and most importantly what is good impact and how you can do this drill without a golf ball in the winter months you don't need to hit any balls it's beautiful to start striping it well good impact one you've got the weight forward weight forward helps you with having a good contact point taking a divot in front of the ball also swinging out to the ball so in to out that's going to give you a nice little draw the next thing is arm straight. So we've got our elbows together here, my lead arm straight, and I'm extending my arms from impact through the ball fully to straight. So I've got two things right there that are a great recipe for contact. We look at the angle of the trail wrist. There's a little bit of a cup there. That's good, we're gonna keep that cupping through impact, driving through the ball until you push both arms to straight. So you see the hands leading the club head. And at no point should the hands get behind at no point should there be any flipping or scooping of any kind. Whatever your ball striking was when you ended last season, this will improve upon that. It's not going to make you worse. It's actually just going to make you a whole lot better. If you're a great player, this is going to make you even better. If you're a poor player and your impact was like, I'm not sure where I'm going to hit the ball, it's going to make you sure where you're going to hit the ball. This impact position is key, but the best way to do impact drills is working from where the club's parallel with the ground to where you finish just after impact here. So we're doing a really abbreviated type of drill. Club parallel with the ground, extending through, and then the key kicker here, the key point, is the club shaft angled down. This will be the one thing you spend your entire off season thinking about. It sounds so simple, and it really is a simple concept. But think about what you need to do when you get to this finish position. If you've got your elbows extended to straight, You've got the club shaft angled down. Well, let's work a little bit backwards. So I'm going to go back to impact. Boom, look, that's good impact. I'm going to go before that. I got a little bit of fold my trail arm before that. Club parallel off the ground. I've got stored lag and power here. About a 90 degree angle between the lead arm and the club. Into impact and through. So I'm pretty much trying to hold impact through about three to four feet after hitting the ball. And what this sensation is like is that you're pushing those arms away and once again, club shaft down and not up and not pulling the elbows apart. So I want you thinking elbows together. I want you thinking club shaft down. You can do this if you choke up a little bit, you don't want to hit your carpet. Just focus on shaft down. Swing the shoulders nice and slow, boom, shaft angled down. And then just do that about 10 swings. It's gonna take you a minute. You're gonna be here at first. That's probably flipping and scooping. Maybe your weight's falling back. So we've got weight anchored forward, shaft down. I'm swinging the shoulders to the shot. I'm not thinking about hips. I'm not thinking about turning my body. Just thinking about elbows together and shoulders, shaft down, shaft down. Then we'll bring it up a little bit fuller. We're gonna swing back fully and I'm gonna fire this club shaft down. <laughs> Once again, shoulders, I'm not thinking about turning my hips, I'm not thinking about doing any fancy body moves, just shoulders, shaft down. <laughs> and I'm checking my finish. You should be seeing exactly the same fall through for both the short shot and the full swing. So the, the short mini practice swing right here, and then the full swing. And I'm even hearing a little bit of a whoosh out in front of the ball. You should be hearing that as well. If I hear the whoosh back here, I can't get the club shaft down. You see how this 
is going to force you to have good impact because if I flip or if I airily extend, I do those moves that get you chunking in thin shots like this, for example, well, let's take that to impact. Hands are back. Let's take that in the follow through. I've scooped, clubs angled down range, and most likely my elbows are gonna pull apart at that point. Look at that right wrist too. Ooh, that is not fun. That is a scooper versus, let's windshield wipe back the other way. Cup in the wrist, the trail wrist. Whew. Whew. Something that's really gonna help you here is the feeling of pushing those arms to straight after impact, but still thinking shaft down. So shaft down. It's like we're casting a fishing pole with the wrists. And I swing the shoulders and I throw it down. Now, if you do have a mat and you can hit balls in your house, this is a good time to start introducing that concept. So we'll just do a little bit of short shot here. Not too much, we're going back about here probably halfway, lead arm parallel with the ground, and then shaft down. I just think about shaft down shoulders. Oh my goodness, that was pure. It doesn't get any better than that. Shaft down shoulders. What band name is that? I wanna hear more of that. We build the machine, elbows together, lead arm straight, weight forward, shoulders shaft down. There it is again, ball first divot. And when I finish, I'm actually creating that same position that I did in the drill, right there. Shoulders shaft down. Let's bring it back. I love doing that too with impact with my students. I'll have them finish right there and I'll say, hey, stop short, bring it back to impact, show me where you were. This is how you can analyze your swing without taking video. So if I scoop my wrists and flip, watch this. Now, I'm gonna bring back the impact. That's where I was at impact. You see my, my trail arm, my right arm is fully extended. Meaning that it got overtaking, it's overtaking my lead arm. So it's the, new, it's the new controller of my contact point. And when that right arm controls contact, it's game over. We're not sure what's gonna happen. Now that one I hit clean, I got lucky. That's what happens when you start playing golf for a while, you get luckier. It seems that way at least. So here, Back to impact. I love that. And you could just take it up to a full swing. Kick it on up, move it on up to a full swing. Same thing, I'm not gonna change anything. If I change anything, then why would I do that? I'm hitting it great here, why would I change it? Throw it down. Murderous intentions on that ball. I fight with murderous intentions. Okay. This is fun. I hope you're really enjoying doing this drill in your living room because it worked wonders. When you have nothing to practice, you have no balls to hit. This is the piece that's gonna change it. Bring it back to impact. Perfect, flawless strike again. Okay, I just wanna show you what you shouldn't do because it's important for students to know what they should and shouldn't do. You shouldn't have the weight going back. You shouldn't have the hands scooping or flipping. And you never wanna have the right arm overtake the lead arm until after impact, both arms are fully straight. So you wanna think about impact angle being maintained and just never breaking what you started with here. Whew. Never break that, just keep it together. So we've got elbows together, that gives you the shoulders. So we've knocked out a couple swing thoughts right there. That's your back swing, that's gonna be your down swing. And the last thing is fishing pole, shaft down. So we combine the two, shoulders, shaft down. It's unreal how consistent that is. Now, another way you can practice this inside, and it's gonna pay a lot of dividends for you, is train with the lag shot. And I've got a lot of mileage on this thing, because it works wonders as well. The feeling of the lag shot is a whippy shaft with a weighted head and you can hit balls with it. You can also make great practice swings. It's going to teach you perfect impact anyways. So when we think about impact, if I flip or scoop, 
I can't hit the ball. I also can't get into impact. I actually feel the club head going down behind the ball. So it tells you where impact's gonna be. And I want to feel the weight of this club head just caramming down and through the ball this way. Never falling back, but falling forward. So I feel all the weight releasing out in front of the ball. And that's why I love training with this. So if I make short swings, and I don't really have to think about the drill so much, if I just think about the weight moving down and through the ball this way, check this out. It trains me, it almost makes it happen without me doing the drill or thinking about the drill. Because if I wanna hit the ball with this club, I have to get in that position. I can't make a swing that's off form. I can't make a bad swing. If I do, I won't hit the ball. I mean, I, I can't, I feel the club just scooping and flipping going up or down behind the ball. And that leads to inconsistent contact. So let's make a swing with this club, feeling the weight of the lag shot, where this club head whew, is moving down and through the ball. It's not going behind the ball or flipping or scooping. And there's no doubt about it. When you make an incorrect swing, you feel the club head go away from the ball. But when you make the correct swing, you feel the club head go through the ball and down. So let's just make a slow swing here. Yeah, you can't beat that feeling. That is the same feeling I'm getting with that drill. And I've got a link to the lag shot in the comments in the description below. Got you a nice little discount on that. And it is a fantastic training aid, not only for impact, but for the whole swing. It trains the whole swing. But this is one really good use for it, is feeling proper impact all day long. Check that out. And then you can just make swings with it. You can even play golf with it. Now, I could take that back to my regular swing. I really can feel that, wow. Whenever I make a bunch of swings with the lag shot, I can feel how this club head almost is the same sensation now. It's, it's like I feel the club head whipping down and through. So I feel that explosion of the club head going through the ball. That's why they call it a swing trainer. It's teaching you without you having to think. So let's do it. Oh man, that's nuclear. A lot of speed through the impact there. The air cannon. I'm just mimicking that lag shot feel that I got. And look what it's doing. It's destroying the ball. So you look at ways that you can create good impact this off season. This is the number one way to improve your swing because you don't need to hit balls. And even if you wanted to, you could hit some in the garage, but you get good impact without having to hit balls. Use a lag shot, use this drill. Don't start the next off season on the wrong foot. Start the next off season where everybody's blown away because your leaps and bounds pass them. They're gonna say, Hey, did you have an off season? The whole point is you're gonna say, no, I didn't. Let's just forget that. Off season doesn't exist for you anymore. Thanks for watching today and I'll see you in a future episode.